this is, I'll say, this is a lytic uh, bone lesion in the cortex of a young kid. And it was discovered he had knee pain after, um, after a trauma and they did an x-ray and then they discovered this um, incidentally at that time while working him up. And it's a lytic lesion in the cortex, kind of eccentrically located um, in the distal, uh, distal femur, okay, near the knee. And when they went in and did a uh, biopsy of it, what we see here is a bland spindle cell proliferation with a lot of collagen in the background. And um, they look kind of fibroblastic. And also right away, you're struck by the enormous amount of hemocytin and pigment distributed throughout. And also lots of areas of foamy xanthomatous looking uh, histiocytes. So putting those features together with the radiology, this is very good for non-ossifying fibroma, also known as fibrous cortical defect, okay? These are a very common benign bone lesion. And in fact, in some studies, um, they're incidentally seen in up to 30% of kids, all right? So these are very common lesions um, that just usually don't cause any problem. And so we don't know that they're there until they're incidentally discovered when the patient's having imaging for something else. And in fact, a lot of times I see bone lesions that are discovered that way. Patient had a motor vehicle accident, they got, you know, a scan for their, you know, their broken hip. And then also they find that there's a lytic lesion in the, the shaft of the femur or something like that. Okay. So I see that a lot. I also see times where people have a benign bone lesion and then they, it was big enough that they had a, a fracture through the lesion. And then that's when the tumor was discovered. So I've, I've found many times that's the way bone lesions present is that they are incidentally discovered or they're discovered once they fracture um, because sometimes benign bone lesions weaken the bone and then you get a fracture through them, okay? So here's some of the background bone. This was, as you can tell, this was not decalcified. That's why the bone's so purple and, and kind of crunchy and fragmented here. And then um, the other thing is the spindle cells can be kind of arranged in fascicles or they can have this very nice story form swirling arrangement here. Sorry, my screen's going a little crazy. So this kind of swirling story form pattern um, is characteristic of this entity. Occasionally, these can have big areas of necrosis that's like infarct necrosis, particularly if they fracture. And I've seen cases like that where it's kind of scary looking. They just have sheets of zonal necrosis, but the tumor cells are very bland and you don't see very much mitotic activity or anything else worrisome. So I have seen that before and um, that infarct can be scary. And they can also have scattered giant cells, sometimes even many giant cells, although this case doesn't really have many. So a really good example of a common entity and a very characteristic example of it, non-ossifying fibroma or fibrous cortical defect. Let me show you the radiology, not from this patient, but a different, let's see, here is, here's an example. And this patient is actually an adult. Um, here you can see this uh, lytic lesion. And the reason we know it's an adult is because they have a fused growth plate, right? Usually these are most common in kids, but sometimes you can discover them in adults as well. And you can see that the, lit, the lesion's lytic, it has these scalloped, kind of pushing edges and the edges are dense and more dense white. They're sclerotic. They have an increased amount of bone around the periphery. So uh, rarely do you see these completely removed on block. You would be able to see it on, um, on the pathology in that case, but usually these are curetted out or, or just a needle biopsy depending on the setting. But this, uh, this kind of uh, eccentric cortical lesion that has sclerotic scalloped kind of, um, kind of scooped out edges. You can see more of it here very characteristic. So a lot of times they're discovered and they, they don't always even biopsy them because they have such a characteristic look on imaging. So in any case, this is an example of one from an adult.